Hi, this is Michelle Swag from the Health Sciences Library at Memorial University, and this video demonstrates how you can use CINAHL headings to search for qualitative studies in the CINAHL database. All of the journal articles in the CINAHL database are read by either a subject expert or a librarian, and then they are tagged with a subject heading or a CINAHL heading. These headings can really help you in your search. So if you look below the first abstract there, you can see the subject headings assigned to that particular article. To search for CINAHL headings that you can use in your search, click on the CINAHL headings button at the top of the screen. Then what you'll do is put in terms that sort of match what you're looking for into the search box in this case qualitative studies, and select browse. On the screen you'll see that qualitative studies is one of the options that is given to you. From here you'll be taken to the tree view for the subject headings and this is just a list of terms from really broad terms like science and study design down to narrower terms like qualitative studies and then grounded theory is below that. Um, so each indent is a narrower term. It's important to remember that uh, articles are only tagged with the narrowest term. So if you want qualitative studies in action research and ethnographic research, you're going to have to tick that explode box. So now that I've selected my term, I'm going to click on search database. Uh, you can see that the term I selected is now located up here in the top search box. Um, from here you can add in additional terms that would match the kinds of studies you want to find. So in my case I'm going to add in multiple sclerosis to bring back qualitative studies about multiple sclerosis. Um, there are other useful subject headings or CINAHL headings to use when you're searching for qualitative studies. Um, in particular, study designs are a really good way of getting at the qualitative literature. So, for example, I could uh, put in focus groups, um, which will bring me again back uh, to the tree. Um, and here you can see there's a bunch of data collection methods. Um, focus groups, narratives, I often will include uh, the data collection method or search using the data collection method when I'm trying to find qualitative studies in CINAHL. Um, I can't explode focus groups anymore, it's grayed out, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to click on search database. Um, in this case, for this search, I have already searched for the um, CINAHL heading for students nursing um, and I can combine them all together in the search history box with and to bring back uh, articles about focus groups and nursing students. So if you've got any questions don't hesitate to contact us we'd love to give you a hand with your search.